Lamborghini recently launched its Sian Roadster. While looking around on the internet, I found a simple and interesting thing going on its rear. These are the small flaps that open when the temperature of the engine bay rises a lot, so that the air can flow over the engine, cool the bay and escape from here. This flow of air is not very good for aero and it's better if closed, so it opens only when the temperature is quite hot and the cooling becomes priority over the aerodynamics, otherwise it's closed. For operating these small flaps according to the temperature, putting electronics is a boring way to solve the problem. So Lamborghini decided to do something different, which is simple yet sophisticated. Let's untangle what's done. The system uses smart material. Smart materials are basically the materials that significantly change their properties in response to the external stimuli and these changes are reversible and are repeatable. For example, piezoelectric materials, which upon applying stress, produce electricity, or photomechanical materials, which change their shape under exposure of light. But hold on a second, did Lamborghini go that far? Nope, they didn't. Lamborghini used the same principle used in thermostats of the engine cooling system. So first, let's have a look how a thermostat works so that it's easier to understand this system. When the engine is cool, the coolant is also cool, so the pump circulates the same coolant in the engine coolant jacket to maintain the optimum temperature for combustion. As the temperature of the engine rises, and as the temperature of the coolant rises, the wax in the thermostat melts and starts expanding. When the expansion force is above the spring force, the valve starts opening. So now, the coolant goes to the radiator for cooling and new coolant enters in the jacket so that the engine can be cooled. In Lamborghini, the hot air does the work of the hot coolant. As the air in the bay gets hot, the actuators expand, opposing the spring. This pushes the small lever connected to these actuators forward. This tilts the flap, opening the passage for air to flow. A really simple mechanism. When the bay gets cooled, the actuator regains its original length, closing the flaps back. A simple yet sophisticated way to solve a problem. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe our channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified for future updates. Thank you for watching.